So, hey guys, I just realized uh, a little while back that there's something a little fishy about Runic Sprite. And not just Runic Sprite, actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure even Twin Sprite. Well, uh, let's put in Life Twin first and then Evil Twin and go from there, I suppose. Actually, we can go related here. Let's put this in for a second. And then here. 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 And then, yeah, that, that's about good. And then I guess while we're at it, let's put in Degda and... Yeah, sure, whatever. So if we look at all of the core cards from all of these lists here, we have... Live Twin Kisakil, this is a Light Cybers. Live Twin Lila, this is a Dark Cybers. Sprite Blue, this is a Thunder Dark. This is Thunder Dark, this is Thunder Dark as well, but Pixies isn't that played, so we can remove Pixies from this equation here. And then Sprite Red is, uh, Thunder Fire. Interesting. And then we have Sprite Carrot, Thunder Fire again. Alright. And then their primary form of removal, I guess, for the back row, and if we just account for it, Sprite by itself. Hmm. They have Smashers to Banish, which is pretty good. If they could do it again. But they cannot. They probably only run one Smashers. But anyways, moving along. Hugin is a Fairy and a Light. Noonan is a Light and a Fairy. Gary, the Runic Fangs here, is a Dark and a Beast. Gigantic Sprite is a uh, Dark and a Thunder. And then Artifact Dagda, if you cared, is also a Light Fairy. Whatever. And then, Evil Twin Kisakil is a Light Fiend. Evil Twin Lila is a Dark Fiend. And then, Sprite Elf is a Fire Thunder. Fire Attribute Thunder Monster. Whatever, right? So, huh. If you actually look at it closely, no one's really playing uh, Sprite just kind of pure. And even if you were playing it with, like, I don't know, maybe Toads with with, I don't know, there, there's no no real way to do anything about this, but... Hey, Rivalry, now you are locked into Thunders, now that also closes, like, for example, Mascarena. That's gone, like, pretty much all of the extra deck options, just gone. Not to mention, if they actually summoned a non-Sprite first, then they are left with just, uh... Sprite Elf and Gigantic Sprite, if they were to, like, for example, Normal Summon, uh, I believe, what was it, Ephira? Or what? I, I don't remember. Uh, Normal Summon, draw one, three. Uh, we're struggling here. Change level two. Well... Uh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's not normal summon, it's on summon. Alright, right, right. Oh yeah, there we go. Imperia. That's the mistake, okay. So, oh look, would you look at this? This is a Earth Reptile. Very, very intriguing. So if they were to normal summon Apira, or maybe even special summon Hugin first, and then they get hit by literally pretty much any Floodgate, like, we got... Gozen as well. Boom, throw in a Gozen. There can be only one. Oh, right. There can be only one. And then put in Monster. Maybe that helps us find it. Yeah, it does a little bit. So we have Tikaboo and we have Gozen. All of them actually affect Sprite pretty bad. This stops them from going into like gigantic sprite or sprite elf as well and then that that just means any floodgate can pretty much destroy them instantly they they don't have a good way of playing around it skill drain as well their monsters every single one of them don't have well they don't have the ability to activate at all sprite red actually can't activate because like let's assume well it is so this tributes for cost, actually. Let's see. Actually, no way. 
they do have a way to play around skill drain. This is disgusting. I didn't realize this. So let's say I have sprite red. Right? Can I? Well, I guess you need a uh, link two or rank two with an effect that's relevant, but you can tribute it by attempting a negate with red, which will just send it for cost. And then it should be able to activate because it's no longer on the field, so skill drain won't be affecting it. But that's actually not too relevant because they can't, like, tribute Zeus for that effect. I don't think there actually is a rank 2 or anything that can benefit off of that play. But red can't tribute itself, so it can't really negate you. And uh, carrot, of course, the same way, so... Everything should be pretty much dead on their field. Speaking of which, even Lila and Kisakil are going to get like really, really messed up by the Gozen if you use Gozen and Tikaboo as well. They actually, in fact, if you rivalry, you can't go into the extra deck ones either. And you're locked into Cyburst here, which you're playing like literally no other Cyburst in your deck if you're being a Runic Spray player here, right? Aside from like. Kisa kill and Lila. They don't even have defense. So, well, this can only mean one thing. Time to stun, boys. Stun time. Fun time. Barrier statue. They only banned one of them, and the ones that are still available we have. I guess all of these are pretty good. Just a good three of these. Three of these. Inspector border. All that. No, I'm just kidding. That's not good enough. Because they actually can still put side in some generics. So, how unfortunate, I guess. I guess if you play Runic Fountain, you have this lovely, disgusting card called Hugin that you have access to, which would stop the destruction of your back row easily. And that's really rough to play around. So. I guess next week let's make a disgusting floodgate deck. There is no choice. You have forced my hand here. Well. This actually isn't bad going first or second. If going first, of course you can just set some of these. I don't know what kind of board you're doing exactly. If any at all. But. Yeah, set these, activate them. They can't do anything to you. All of their monsters are dead. Their hand traps and such don't really work well against these, like, at all. What are you gonna do? Ash Blossom, my Gozen, called by my Gozen. You're not doing shit. But anyways, yeah. And also, even if you summoned, like, a barrier statue, certain monsters that they play Definitely don't have an, enough attack to go over it, but I guess it wouldn't be like uh, a barrier statue that you'd be going for here. It'd be Inspector Border, which th there's no hope of any of these beating over Inspector Border. Zero. But I guess they're allowed to still inherit summon. You can probably still end up making Zeus. So that's actually kind of funny, regarding Inspector Border at least. I don't know what the play would be for this. I guess not this, right? So, let's see. Hmm. So, if you wanted to do a little bit of comboing, there is an interesting enough option. Well, one of the options to protect your back row now that we have Punk is you can do most of the Punk Chaos Ruler combo. But then, instead of going the Zombie Vampire, you can go uh, Dingirsu for your rank 8 and just end on this, I guess. But if you have a different little bit of engine, you could probably make like a Griffin. So, yeah. You wouldn't have to be playing all the Floodgates in that case, you would only need like maybe one. Like a Rivalry or a Gozen and then go for like a dark extra deck probably like a or something like that because you're using ding in this case to protect your back row as well which is completely 
AIDS, honestly. There is also, for example, Dark Magician. Dark Magician, you have access to uh, the secret village of spellcasters or whatever, which is pretty nasty. And then if you can find a way into this, you can also go to, well, use Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. So now your back row is not targetable and they cannot be destroyed just straight up. So you could, well, I'll tell you right now, they don't play spellcasters, so Secret Village actually can shut down Runic Fountains and Sprite Smashers, which are the most relevant cards here. I guess there's a benefit of it disabling like called by and stuff. But then as well as that, the runic package being downed. Some of the twin cards that search our spells as well. But um, then I guess any floodgate pretty much can manhandle them. El Shadow Window. Yeah, no, none of these guys are going to do anything. Even if you summon two of them, that's probably not doing much. But I guess the best option is like special summoning jet somehow. And then going into uh, Smashers. And then you can remove Winda, I guess. And then maybe continue from there. So Winda, not the best option necessarily, but actually wait, how can they, they can't Smashers because they don't have a Sprite in the graveyard probably. Oh, that's actually a little bit more nasty than I thought, but like, there's just like a billion different like well yeah a billion different floodgates that could stop them like if you were committed i guess going for, and you were going first five rainbow you could probably utilize five rainbow five rainbow magician yucky this is basically mystic mine at home but it'll get the job done probably right you just have to destroy their sets, and then they've got nothing going for them. So then, let's move along. What else could we use the hard counter sprite? I don't know, I'm thinking about it. But, like, as I'm kinda- I think I mentioned before, if I, for example, set Rivalry and Skill Drain, going first, that's just okay. If I'm going second, I do that, and then I just flip over. There's no chance they have lethal anymore. Like, if I specifically, it does, well, not in the case of necessarily skill drain if they open crazy enough, I guess, but in case of like Gozen, Tikaboo, and Rivalry, they're, this is like not as good as like a Raigeki, for example, but should clear their board up somewhat, allowing me to finish setting up for the next part, I guess you would call it, but yeah. Back row protection would be pretty nice. Just a Lord of the Heavenly Prison isn't necessarily good enough, because you have to flip these face up, of course, for them to take effect. And they can start to rebuild, like, it's an alright kind of way if they rebuild. It's not like, going to, I don't think they'll uh, find lethal on you that fast after it, necessarily. But, it certainly won't be fun to deal with. Just a matter of how can I floodgate my opponent? How can I make them suffer? Hmm. Any kind of floodgate effect already just really destroys them. But like, I, I believe they can play through macro a little bit. So maybe a play like macro is not necessarily the best, but a basic idea here we can do is with Zombie World specifically, we can set up Zombie World Rivalry, which is a bit stronger than just normal Rivalry. But uh, aside from that, we can go ahead and set up like a Dingusu as well with the Punk line, and then with the rest of our hand, we can probably uh, we can probably uh, just set up Doom King and Zombie World, and that should like in theory stop them from doing anything that should 
brutalize them pretty hard. And of course, as mentioned before, in that case, you can probably do the griffin thing. Funny griffin line, where you just summon griffin and then add the uh, spell trap back. I don't know, if, it's a, if your zones are messed up though, I guess maybe uh, link off griffin after, I guess. In that case, griffin is kind of a weird skill drain too. Not that it matters because they inherent summon and they don't need their effects to resolve that badly. I mean, not all of them, and there is one arrow pointing actually, so... If you summon that to the EMC, it's not necessarily the best in that case, but... Yep. Blood Geeks. We're talking Plasma. We're talking... Uh... Dark Law. We're talking BPE. We're talking... Uh, I, I forget which Destiny hero that is. What was it, like Dark Angel or something? Destiny hero, Dark Angel. Hmm, look, great. We're talking Protoss. We're talking Ito. Time to ruin the ladder, ha ha ha. There is no way for the Osprey player to out Ito either, right? Wh which one's Ito again? I am a lost boy. Oh, there. Ito, the Supreme Magical Force. This just stops you from summoning monsters altogether. Great. And, I suppose, if you have access to it, might as well. Last Warrior, Floodgate time. But you need a little bit of protection, I guess. I don't think you need to worry about protection from Sprite Smashers, necessarily, because they, they might not be able to get the sprite cards into the graveyard to begin with and it would be rudimentary to play ag against this as a backer you can just remove this before clearing the sprite monster i guess so honestly smashers is not the biggest concern like i don't think they have a good way to discard cards from their hand either so whatever and it looks like last warrior is actually it starts a chain here. So if you summon last, the last warrior from another planet and you have a monster negate, but not destroy, like, for example, uh, Therion Regulus, just negate the uh, effect to destroy all other monsters you control and you should just be completely winning. Or you can just summon this out like a goofy goober. It's alright. But yeah, floodgate, floodgate, floodgate. I don't think they can actually get rid of Ito in any way, shape, or form. The only way that a uh, Runic should be able to, uh, well, not not Runic Sprite should be able to get rid of Ito is by uh, getting rid of Ito through uh, um, uh, Droplet, Forbidden Droplet. That's the card I was thinking of. So aside from that, completely screwed. If you can think of a floodgate, it'll probably work. I guess this is where we're gonna have to go. This is the direction Artifact Scythe that would do the job, but this is not hard, as hard as a floodgate as these ones. If you simply flip these ones, these can potentially like decimate their board, which is pretty whack, like any of these. If you flip this one, they have to choose between like their negate sprites and then their like sprites that do other stuff and you're, they're locked out of their searches and stuff but if they choose these they have no interaction they just have some bodies that they're not even big bodies to be honest so yeah of course there's scythe blocking the without their uh, extra deck they, they they do a lot less but let's put it that way so yeah Floodgate, floodgate. I mean, nothing else but floodgate in here. Well, yeah. I don't have much else to say. You could say I'm going down the wrong path, but was there a right path to begin with? Well, anyways, I'll, I'll go put some floodgates in my decks now. You've you've uh kind of forced my hand here. I don't feel like I have too much of another choice here.
it's time to just floodgate then. Well, I'll be seeing you guys later on the ladder. A and I'm going to be flipping over skill drain rivalry goes in anti kaboo on you. I don't really think I'll leave you with a good way to prepare or deal with it either. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Or maybe you'll be stuck on this one. Well, well, never mind. That That's too, that's a bit too cringe, I guess. But, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.